check out CTC Auto Ranch. Uh, there's a lot of cars out here, but we're gonna see if there's anything uh, worth anything out here. You know what I mean? Let's go see. I say they got a couple of cars. What do you think? Not exactly sure how many acres. But definitely a bunch of cool stuff. Here's the window trim I need. I doubt I'll be able to walk it all today. A lot of it looks muddy. But maybe I can walk a lot of it. Bunch of cool stuff on the front line here. You pull up here to the shop, talk to the guys. I've heard their prices are real high on stuff. Sorry about all the shaking. This road is real bumpy. Let's pull up. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, bye. Appreciate it. No How's it going, buddy? Right, yeah. Oh, another day in paradise. How y'all doing today? Thank you. Did you get your lot of that? Yeah. All right. Have, you, have, have a good weekend, man. Thank you. I really appreciate I'm it. I'm jealous. <laughs> well, <laughs> right. What did you get the bumpers for? Uh, 79 Caprice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I need them. So. That's cool. I'm here looking for parts myself. What are you working on? Uh, 57 Chevy Bel Air. Thank you, man. Thank you. Two door hard top. I need the back chrome. It goes down the route around the back window or the whole thing around it. I've seen a four door. I don't know if it's the same though. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be different. I only have one hard top and I've had it forever. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't know y'all might have had. I don't want to buy a new pop because everything's all original. I doubt they're making new ones for that hard top, are they? I don't know. I didn't even look it up. I just figured I'd just check around places and see if you had an original one, because that's what I want. Take the tire, just a minute. No back turn. Uh, that's the only one I got, and that's, you can see where it's at right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I got a 69 Pontiac GTO, a 77 Corvette, a 34 Chevy. Yeah. Any parts for it? No. Yeah. <laughs> I like you tasting cars. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and I got an 82 Chevy pickup, but I'm gonna sell that one. Yeah. But uh, the Corvette runs and drives, the Bel Air runs and drives, the GTO, I haven't started on it yet, mm. but it's complete for the mm. most part. And I can't, yeah, I won't, I won't be a good source on that car either. I, yeah, I don't know on that one either. I think I yeah. might have like an aftermarket hood. Um, you know, like what that. about uh, AC Cobra parts? Nothing like that. I'm not an original one, of course. It'd be I, like a I'm, kit car yeah, that I've was smashed up like or that. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, can I walk around and see what you got? I'm always um, looking for something new. Sure. Yeah, well, you can look at our project cars. You can't walk around with the parts cars, are, but you start Yeah, that's fine. Where, yeah, where, where can I go and where uh, can I? Show you how to play it out. Cool. Right, this little immediate area right here. And then see that group of cars? The between, straight line, yeah. Well, like, see that row of trucks that's pointing at us right there? Uh -huh. And there, back this way. And then all these cars all the way up to the service road between that little gravel road and that fence. Uh -huh. All the on way up. Side. Yeah, on this side of the road, yeah. Okay. Everything on the right side of the road are all parts cars and all throughout there are all those parts are all, cars. Those are all parts cars. Out there, but 
Yeah. yeah. So you can walk through all you want. Don't open any doors or hoods or anything. I came here when I was a kid, man. Yeah. It's been a Back long then, time. Back then, we probably let everybody walk everywhere. Yeah, you let me walk over here or whatever, but I never got to walk to yeah, yeah. this side of the building. It looked like you had 20s and 30s. Man, 30, yeah, I bought a few 30s and 40s stuff like that are back there, but they're all just parts cars. They're strip cars. Uh, nothing three window, five window coupe errors like right. that I could use for well, parts. Right, done sold. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> right. That one of the first ones that went, I'm yes. sure. Yeah. It was hard to find mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But and it's hard to find parts. I got good doors. I got a good trunk, but there's no hood. There's no fenders. There's, you know, I got a grill. It's that aftermarket pop, but. I just can't, you know, I just don't come across that stuff. Yeah. I just don't. Yeah. Well, you do have a lot of stuff, oh, yeah, regardless. I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of metal. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, people are still buying. Yeah. I, I was selling shit out of them. Yeah, my business has been pretty good. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm Thomas, by the way. I'm David. Thank David, you. nice to meet you. Sorry. You're the owner, manager, everything I'll here. Everything in between. Me and my brother. Cool, man. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, if I see something. I like, I guess I'll uh, take a picture of it yeah, right quick. Do that. And, absolutely yeah. do that. Cool, man. Appreciate right, it. Thanks, Tom. View it. It's a four door. View it convertible. Okay. So, only so much of it that's walkable. So, let's check out what's walkable right quick. I'm not going to bore you, but. There's some cool stuff out here. I was hoping I was gonna get to walk everything. Two-door Impala. There's a four-door Nova like I got. It's a Buick. There's a like 55 wagon. Two door Packard and Nova. It's, like, uh, it's, a, it's a four door, but it's uh, probably like a what, a 62, 63? Yeah, something like that. I mean, just check out this. Back that way, but this place is crazy with cars. He said all these are the parts cars. It looks like there's a a Torino. Just trying to look see if I can see anything. Bunches and bunches of stuff. More cars than you can shake a stick at. Parts right here. Let's see what these wagons are. He said over here. There's a five window truck. Rambler wagon. Still got the rack on top. A couple of them. A Vega. Somebody chopped the top on this one. It's got the old chop top on it. Not too bad. What we got here? Not too sure what that is. Anybody know what that is? You can tell me in the description, I guess. We got a rat rod project. Something pretty cool. Got this Camaro Z28.
let's walk down the line, see what he's got. Walk down here, give it a glance. Guess I'll, uh, instead of going back and forth, let's walk down this side, check everything out. And when I get to the end, I'll walk back and come back all the way to this on the way out. How about that? Here we got a Catalina. It's a two-door. Right here, probably a GTO Tempest. It's got side flares next to a Fiero. Hmm. I'm not sure. Buick Wildcat. I almost bought one of those when I was a kid. God was just giving it away. Four door Impala. We got the sixty eight and power. Bell Malibu, it's all beat up. 68-69. Top's cut off of it. Says it's a 327 car. These are all parts cars because they've been cut up. Most of the parts are already parted out of them. So we'll stick to the projects. Another Impala at the end, we'll check out. We'll come back to all that. Bunch of Impalas right here, four doors. None of them really look complete. Another 68 Impala. 27 car. Looks like it's pretty complete. Yeah. Wouldn't be a bad one right there, guys. What do you think? And we got another two door Impala. And then another. They all look like they're 68s, I guess. Oh, look. There's a Marlin. Studebaker. Couple of old trucks. I'm trying to see if I can't get better views out there. It's just a sea of gold, isn't it? Well, at least to some people. Let's get back over here on track. It's 
This right here is pretty cool. Old El Camino. Got the topper on it. Two door, 60. Let's see what else we can find. This is a 59 El Camino, right? Is that a 59 or a 60? So, there's a 60. It might be worth getting. El Camino's a little hauled out. It's another El Camino, it was a 60. Four door 60, four door 59, another four door 60, another four door 60. Frame looks all right. Keep going. Fifty nine two door quarters a little rotten, doors beat the hell, but the fins look good, back glass looks good, the roof looks good. Trunk is rotted completely. But it's a two door. Looks like the chrome went all the way up, so that's an Impala, right? Floors are gone. Dash is gone. Got that straight eight in it. It's got a lot of 60s, 61s. This is a 59 four door. Bunch of firebirds. C28, a couple of Camaros, 
Lots of Camaro parts. There's an international scout. Got the top on it. Front and side windows, back glass looks good. Probably wouldn't be a bad start. Pick this up. Got the wire rims. From about 150 spoke Dayton's. Got a narrow motor put in it. Looked like it was an abandoned project. There's a couple of shells here. Two-door. It's a 59. Cut up, hauled out, parted. What we got here? Well, it says it's fragile. I bet it is. Got some glass pieces. Two door Jeep station wagon. That's pretty cool. Camaros, Camaros, Firebirds. I wish I could walk out there. I did when I was a kid. He said they used to let people walk it, but he don't want nobody walking it. So we're going to stay up here. A little slant back. Deluxe. What is this? Galaxy 500 convertible. No frame. It's just the body. Ford Crown Vic. What year model is this? Look at that grill right there. Probably wouldn't be a bad builder, would it? Pretty cool. Here's a Willys. Two-door. Like what was that at James's collection? Hudson. Willis. There's a Cadillac. Uh, there's a Chrysler. Not exactly sure what your model this is. Now check out that interior. Got the green dash. Got rims on it. 
We're back out front by 35. Oldsmobile 98. Lots of cool stuff out here. Is this a Pontiac? Is that what that is? Because I've never seen a hood do that on the squirrels right there. That's pretty cool. 6.6 .6 liter Trans Am. You got your super two door. Another Jeep two door. A couple of caddies. This one right here looks pretty uh pretty decent. Got a motor in it. Is your little Rambler? Got a Buick Skylark. Plymouth Deluxe, two door. Got a Lark, six. It's pretty cool looking. Chrysler Wagon, check out this thing. I think there's some damage on the side yet. Oh well. That caddy with the slant back. Got a 57 four door. I guess the back trim is different. Yeah, my, my window's bigger. It's not going to be the same. It's a nice little Ford pick em up right here. Short bed, fleet side. 
or they call style side. My bad. 60 Chevy. Bed's rotted out on it. Got another Ford. Another Ford. Got another Ford. There's a Chevy. 68, 69. It's a long bed. Wood's gone out of it. Here we go, we got a GMC long bed. 70, 71. Got the keys in it. Another Chevy long bed. Let's keep going, see what he's got. Firebird and a Camaro. Looks like a Ford Falcon. Next one of these, these two Mustangs. A couple of those out in the field that he didn't want to let go of. Cool Ford truck, short bed. It's a short bed. Short bed step side. Fifty one, fifty two, something like that. Studebakers. Sprint. Oh, another wagon. Corvair. Plymouth two door. Cougar and a Porsche. It's a Porsche. Another Corvair. Fifty seven wagon, four door. Looks like it's pretty much hauled out. Might be buildable. Dented down there. Like an SE charger. Seventy four, maybe. Firebird, Camaro, another Camaro. Okay, got a newer Camaro, or what, 90? Two doors, got some cool old school rims. It's got all four of them too. 
Floors are hauled out. That did put a pretty cool little car out there. It's a two door Chevy Deluxe. Z28 Camaro. Looks like it's still got the motor in it. Definitely gonna need some work. Nova. Anybody looking for a Nova? Let's see what it looks like. Floors aren't too bad. Stress cracks around the window frame. Hey, but that might be a good builder right there. Good start at least. Looks pretty, uh, looks pretty solid for the most part. There's another Lark. If you like Larks, he's got a couple Larks. Jaguar. Anybody need Jaguar parts? Not sure what year it is. If you know, that's cool. You can let me know. That's pretty cool, though. some work done to it it's a four-door but hey now what is this it's a two-door hard top Cool tail lights for the Pontiacs. Old Catalina, huh? Import custom. Hey, we got a slug bug. Top rack on it. Got a lot of chrome. Untouchable. <laughs> Another El Camino. A Regal. Mercedes 320. That's not classic. We got a dart. Is that a 63, 4, something like that? It's pretty early looking. Next to another Camaro. Had some cool interior in it, didn't it? Like the back seats even match. That's pretty cool. It's Monte Carlo. Anybody looking for a Monte Carlo? Looks pretty solid. Only 
thing it's missing is T-tops. Couple more wagons. I know this Buick right here, that glass right there is hard to find. That glass, it's almost impossible. But he's got some up here if you need it. And if you're restoring one of these. Well, there's a couple of cool things out here. I wish I could get to go walk the rest of it. But I guess that's all we're gonna get to see today. Well guys, I appreciate you watching this episode. If you go ahead and give me a like, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I got a lot more videos coming to you. I'm gonna try to find as many spots as I can all over North Texas. I might travel outside the state, you never know. So if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you watching today, guys. Thanks. Okay, guys, as soon as I left, I decided to drive the other way down the road and to try to peek over the fence to see what else was back there. There is literally acres and acres and acres of cars. And I finally seen a spot in the fence that was low. So I decided to go jump out and check it out. He said they were parts cars, but everything looks like a builder to me. Thank you.